Late Night Health continues. I'm Mark Allen. Join us at LateNightHealth.com and follow us on Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com slash Late Night Health. Um, every now and then, we get to have some fun with the insane Daryl Wayne. Ah. <laughs> and we just talk. I thought you were going to say, every now and then there's a fool such as I. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, you know, I've said this. You know, I've said this before. Daryl is not only one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He's also one of the smartest. Not always smart, smart, but he's smart. <laughs> no, he's he's a very smart, smart guy. Smart people do stupid things. A- absolutely. Say. And then uh, uh, last week, uh, Daryl, you and I ran into an old buddy of mine, Ken Jeffries. Ken Jeffries, and we invited him to join us today. In studio. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we thought we would talk today about what it's like to grow older in the 21st century. I mean... Well, it sure beats the alternative. (laughs) It does, it does. But, you know... Good point. uh, Guys our age... I just read a, read a, a, a news release early this morning. More men by leaps and bounds, are having plastic surgery. What? Okay. More men. Women have done it, you know, forever. Right. Okay. And a certain segment of the male population. But now all men are doing it. On, on, I was going to say on what part of their body, but that's uh, their on, face. A, on their face, their face. obviously. And, and, the, and one of the major <laughs> reasons, we're going to bring in uh, uh, Ben uh, uh, Talley. He doesn't know that, but I'm going to bring him back in the next week or two. Because one of the biggest holiday gifts... It's a little gift card. Liposuction. You, li, no, on your face? No. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gift card for plastic surgery. Yeah. But yeah, so you have to, yeah, yeah, my eyebrows are raised here now, and it's nothing to do, do with it? plastic you surgery. Do but, but I'm going, really? Would you do it? <laughs> no. No? I, I, I don't think so. Because I'd like to think I'm, oh, man. <laughs> I, I'd like to think I'm relatively good, good looking, but I could use. I had an extra. I have an extra chin here that I'm trying to get rid of, but that's another story. I mean, I'm work trying to <clears throat> work out. But you know, I I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm a ha- happily married guy, and I, maybe I presume you guys are too. I, you know, and, and I don't see an, I don't see a need for it. I mean, uh, to me, not that I want to look like a slob. As I'm getting older, because I'm 60 years old, um, it's an old he's Mil- also you're it's, it's an old Milton tall, Berle over, joke. Yeah, you're over six feet tall. Yeah, six yeah. two and eyes so you're blue. a big no. yeah you're a big guy. No brown eye, but, but anyway, you brown eye. Yeah, how uh, about you, Daryl? Would you? Uh, I don't know, man. I've never had uh, any kind of surgery. I have all my original equipment, including tonsils <laughs> and gallbladder and appendix and all of that. You got and, your tonsils. Uh, so. Uh, I would not uh, go under the knife for any reason other than to save my life. I had my tonsils out. That's the only time I've yeah. had surgery. How about you, Ken? Yeah, I, I haven't. Well, okay, I'll let you in on a secret. I had a, a little snip snip when I was, after I got, we had kids. So I had a vasectomy. Yeah, and I haven't done that one. Um, I had a snip snip when I was born. But that's another story, yeah. <laughs> I, I think it involved a moil. It did. As they call it, it. It, yeah. Yes, it, it was. It There's was, an old joke about that that I won't repeat. At but the I, moment, we yeah. can't hear. It. No. We can't wait to hear it. But <laughs> I, I, I know what I, it I is too. You. Yeah, I know what it is. It's tele- We're doing it telepathically now. Exactly yeah, yeah. right. One of the um, one of the big things today is that we want we as people who are. As men who are in our 40s and 50s, we want to look good. We might feel good. I feel better today, knock on wood, most of the time, than I did when I was, say, 30. You know, you sound like Fernando, the old Billy Crystal character. You know, they take off on Fernando Lama. Yeah, right. You know, you know, it's better to look good than to feel good. You know what they mean? You know. But I feel good. I just want to look as good as I feel. Yeah. You know. And and my problem with it is I have a low threshold of pain. So if you were, you know, yeah, well that, I, and it starts with, you know, you 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 somebody says you say, um, hi, you want to go out on a date with me? You know, going back to high school or college? Yeah. And they say no. It would I would take six weeks to recover. 
So I, I, I don't do well with rejection or pain, and that was emotional pain. So the physical pain scares me a little bit. You started out in, in radio or television? Radio. And uh, what made you make the leap to wanting to be I was on offered camera? a job. I was offered a job as a host. So you didn't pursue it? No. I wanted. I loved radio. I loved right. the intimacy of radio. So you didn't right. say radio was a stepping stone on to bigger and better things I, in the entertainment business. No, I was hired. I was hired by by the by somebody at the Financial News Network, John, F- Johnny FNN, Darren, yeah, FNN. the old, old FNN, right? Johnny that. Darren, um, uh, who it's been. I can't believe it'll be two years in February that he's passed. Uh, gave me my first big t- big gig in in TV. And I was a host, producer, reporter uh, uh, for John. But that means that looks are more important to you than us uh, folks that have stayed in the radio booth. But you've been on TV, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, just I've done a couple of commercials and I've done a couple of interviews and stuff like that. But I've never you know, hosted a, a one-hour television show, infomercial, anything like that. Can I ask you yeah. guys something as, as you get older? And I don't, I don't want to get a little off topic here, but... You listen to your favorite radio station as when when you were a kid, and you find out your favorite disc jockey looked completely different than what you thought. Oh wow! He looked like yeah. it was most, oh, I say he because it was mostly men in those days. You know, right? I mean, you know, there was a guy who looked like a warthog. He could never do TV, and but he had this wonderful voice. Um, Oh, that was Willie the Warthog. Yeah, Willie, Willie the Warthog. Yeah. Willie. He was on KHJ. You were now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Willie the Warthog. It's old Boss Radio. Yeah. Wasn't it? Have uh, you guys yeah. met met people you know that were heroes, and you meet radi- them radio and they, heroes, radio yeah. heroes, and they smelled when you met them? Literally, literally. <laughs> I've never gone out sniffing radio talent too I, often. I, 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 I have not. I, no, I, I've been fortunate enough to meet some of my radio hero, heroes, as I'm yeah. sure you guys probably have too, and it. And they haven't smelled. No. Uh, I but, almost. How do you I, how do you react to that? You I know? was I was hired to meet this guy, uh, to produce some uh, radio spots, and the studio that we were using um, was small. And I went in and said, "Here's how the read it." And then he goes, "Great." I couldn't wait to get out of the booth. I mean, wow. the man hadn't taken a bath in three weeks. He just he he stank. Isn't that it's it's weird. And his name is no 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 no. no. no, no he kidding. is he is in that big recording studio You're in, in the, the sky, sky. now. Okay. It's Willie the Warthog. Hey, yeah. Willie Willie the Warthog. Stinking up Radio Warthog. Heaven, I guess. With the uh, you know, uh, wow. We are, three old radio guys are talking oh, about oh, health. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Ash, Pardon me while I put my teeth back in. Wait right, on. exactly. Uh, we're talking about health. I would, uh, and I'm going back to the plastic surgery thing. I would right. do it as long as the doctor could do one of two things: guarantee me no pain, which they can't do, or knock me out for two weeks. For two weeks? Well, I've got a low threshold. Of pain. Two weeks. <laughs> Well, yeah, wake me up next year, Doc. Okay, right. you know, you want what do you want? Rip Van Winkle? Yeah. You go to Rip Van Winkle for your surgery? Or, exactly. Or you are Rip Van Winkle. I man. I am. I was um, I was over the weekend. I was uh, uh, directing a, a, a small commercial, and the little girl comes up to me and says, "How old are you?" And I said, "How old do you think I am?" Uh oh. And she says, 40. And I said, "You're right. <laughs> Good felt, guess. <laughs> You're right, dear. Here are your ten bucks. Yeah, uh, there. Yeah, okay. I gave her twenty. Do so you give her twenty? Okay. I gave her. Tw- I gave her twenty. Do you Spread physically feel any different internally, not necessarily physically, than you did when you were twenty, twenty-five? I've never really considered myself to be an adult." <laughs> You know that's a good serious. That's a good point. That is a very and good especially point. if you're in radio, like the, all of us are, and you got to be a little mashuga to be in radio. That well, means crazy. Plus, we're, plus, yeah, I to the uninitiated. Things, yeah, you really do. I mean, you have to to do this for a living is like what are you crazy or something? Yeah, but, exactly. But if you enjoy, if you enjoy, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Things happen uh, to me today that didn't happen when I was twenty or twenty five. More people are calling me sir. People are holding the door open for me. And then you go to a fast food restaurant and they give you a senior discount even though you didn't ask for it. Right? I mean, I those, those, that's bad discount. news. I, yeah. am, I, am, I am blessed. I have to ask for my senior discount. 
I'm really happy about well, that. Well, lucky you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on the other hand, I do go to the movies uh, on Tuesday nights if I go because they're only 5 bucks. And but and they don't give you a st- or five fifty now, and they don't give you a senior discount. Five fi- oh, they don't give you senior. After they charge you five fifty, instead of fifteen bucks or oh, whatever yeah, it that's is. Right, yeah. So they don't give you any discount on that. And that's that. with a three D or without the three D. No, that's more. <laughs> that that's additional. I think that's full rate, because they don't expect seniors to understand three D. I have a friend of mine who uh, prides himself. He's a couple of years older than me, but. He's almost pushing like sound, sound. Uh, uh, in fact, I think he's past that. But um, he always prided himself on getting the senior discount. And a couple of years ago, before I kind of hit that threshold, I said, "What are you talking? I mean, you, you're so cheap. I mean, what? Do you, what is that? You know?" But now that I'm there, it's uh, kind of like, uh, "Yeah, why not? You know, let's uh, go for it." Well, when I was forty, I got a mailer from the AARP. Fifty. You got it at fifty. Yeah, it's fifty. I got no, it, it comes at out. 40. It comes out of forty. Because I got it because you look I, like it. I, 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 and <laughs> I was supposed, so mad at them. I still won't to, join. That's not supposed to happen. Supposed I know to be, it's not. To be 50. I know it is. And I would have joined them a few years ago, but I was so I'm so incensed that they hit hit me at forty, and I, I, I won't. Spend the and twelve be, bucks because of that. You won't. You won't do it. You, are there discounts? Uh, are, you, are you insulted? Are you still insulted? I'm after still all these insulting years? after all these years. Yes. Maybe uh, it should be a compliment that they knew you were going to make fifty. I hadn't thought about <laughs> it quite like that. What would you do differently, Daryl, physically, that you you didn't do? If you could go back in time, anything? I never let myself get to the, the weight that I peaked out at before I started to head down a little bit, you know, because putting it on is easy, taking it off is tough. And you've been using Dr. Tony's products. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. Right? And yeah. they're working? Yeah. No exercise? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I, I just started working out, as I, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, and, uh, and, you know, going to an actual gym and actually work, you know, trying to trying to work out. And, uh, Does it not bother you when the eighteen or twenty year old <laughs> young woman can bench press more than you can? I don't. I don't. I, I don't look. I mean, I, I really don't. I, I. I kind of stare straight ahead and mind my own. I try to mind my own business, and uh, and, and I'll go on the hit the cycle. What is it? The relaxing <laughs> bicycle machine or whatever it is, and, and go on Facebook, it's, which probably is counterintuitive, but uh, you know, that's what I do. I I find that and, and swim uh, too. I go I go swimming at the gym. Yeah, got and it. And I have an, I have a pool in my house too. But uh, oh, during, we'll be over after. We'll be over in five minutes. Yeah, we'll be over. But during the winter, during the winter, huh? You have a jacuzzi too? Yeah, actually. All right, good. We'll be over. Her name is Shirley Jacuzzi. <laughs> and she here All right, coming up next, we're going to talk with our good friend Robert Clancy, the author of the Hitchhiker Guide to the Soul. There's some really interesting things we'll be talking about, and he's going to give us some inspiration on being healthy and happy today. Coming up next, don't go away. More coming up on Late Night Health. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. Like us at Facebook.com slash Late Night Health. And please follow us on Spreaker.com slash Late Night Health. That way you can listen to us on your iPad and iPhone and you know, kind of keep us under your pillow at night. Don't go away. More coming up. If you are struggling to pay or haven't been making your student loan payments, listen carefully to this urgent alert. Have you been out of school for 10 or more years and you're still making your student loan payments? Are your student loans past due or even in default? Can't go back to school because of an old student loan problem? We can help you if you qualify. Your student loans can be taken out of default. We can stop the wage garnishments, stop the collection calls, and stop the seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and see if we can help you reduce your student loan payments. One quick 10-minute call could solve them right now. So call the Student Loan Helpline now. 800 419 that's 800-419-2201 
This is a fee-based document preparation service to help you access free government programs. Call for complete details not available in all states. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 800-789-7213 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 800-789-7213 to take your call now. Call 800-789-7213. That's 800 800- 789 7213. Again, 800 789 7213. 